everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to one of the videos so today's video is gonna be my very first drive with me i feel like i've literally been waiting for this moment for so long i finally got my car i finally can do a drive with me and these are some of my absolute favorite videos to watch like just chill videos chatting in the car driving around so i mean here we are so i actually passed my test like three years ago but i sold my car so this is like the new car i got this like i would say a month ago so i'm so excited to be filming i'm just gonna start the car up we're basically gonna do like a come drive me to mcdonald's we're gonna do a little mukbang i've got some questions i asked you for over on instagram which i've got on my phone so i mean it's gonna be a good time we're gonna have some food we're gonna do some questions we're just gonna have a chat so i mean let's get going i've tried tape because i've heard some people say they tape their camera in and um it hasn't worked so we're just kind of balancing it there if it falls it falls and i will probably see you when we get to mcdonald's but i'm gonna just try and do it with you sat there if you're new here i'd love you to stick around join the little family and subscribe there's gonna be so many drive with me so hopefully i can get some like special guests some of my friends can come in and drive with me going to mcdonald's which is literally like five minutes away we're gonna go there i've got some monopoly stickers so i've got some things that are gonna be free so i don't know why i feel nervous to use the monopoly stickers like is that ridiculous so hopefully they're gonna accept them i don't know if there's no like terms and conditions that i haven't seen i've got two monopoly stickers one for six chicken nuggets and one for a quarter pounder with cheese and then can i get a medium diet coke please and a small chips and that's it thank you okay it was fine i mean i don't know why i didn't think it was gonna be fine it was obviously gonna be fine okay we've got the food i literally just checked the clips and pretty much all the clips of me driving on the way here are just so shaky and i don't know why so i mean we'll sit down and we'll park up whilst we do some questions i mean i'll show you what i got first so i got a medium diet coke let's see if we've got anything on the monopoly no i got six chicken nuggets a quarter pound with cheese i would never usually get this much and chips but i feel like for a mukbang you kind of need to have a lot of food and also i had the stickers so it was pretty much free literally cost me one pound 98 for this whole order so i mean, we can't really complain first question there was quite a few of how are you and i'm actually feeling so good right now like honestly so cute that anyone even asks like, i feel like i've been a bit mia recently like i haven't been posting consistently on youtube i haven't been posting consistently on instagram and it's literally because i've just had the busiest summer like I had my exams followed by I got a puppy followed by then just a load of stress I wasn't feeling very well for like a month which we're still trying to like sort out with the doctors on and off but yeah other than that I'm feeling good I've actually got a new job and I feel like I've got a lot more routine in my life I'm starting my masters in like two weeks and yeah so I'm kind of excited for like a fresh start um, I actually had a dream last night that I was having a baby and I said that to my lash lady on the way when I was having my lashes just before I did this video and she was like that means new beginnings and I was like you know what I actually do feel like I'm having like new beginnings in all aspects of my life so there's that thank you for asking I'm actually doing really good so what's your new job you mentioned so I feel like I mentioned that I had a new job I will go to the nuggets I feel like I mentioned that I had a new job but I never went into it so i'm actually working as a bridal consultant which is so exciting so like helping everyone find their dream dress and it's literally the best job ever and i am loving it so that is the job i'm obviously doing that like part-time alongside my masters which so quite a few of them were what are your plans for after uni because obviously i posted my certificate probably a couple days ago which I'm so proud of but yeah i posted my certificate so i feel like everyone's wondering what i'm doing but i'm actually doing your masters so it's like another year of uni mm. I'm actually doing it at uni of warwick so it's a different uni so i'm excited for a fresh start like i said people walking past my car all fun and games hey one question this is actually one of my favorites who are your favorite youtubers to watch this season ellie darby is always a favorite i feel like autumn and christmas ellie darby's content is just like cozy i love that stuff so yeah ellie darby definitely and have a look in my subscription box because i'm one of the people who actually go through phases like i literally watch the same person's vlog all day every day for weeks and then like i move on to like, another person but there's always like, my ogs that i watch all the time so definitely ellie darby imagination i'm so excited for her videos coming up because obviously she just had a baby i think she had a baby like really, like yesterday because i've just seen her post like a little picture of the baby's hand which is so cute so imagination's video that i love i really love watching dion crow she's like a really cool youtube she's like weekly vlog she does like calls and at becca watson my girl i love her so much and i absolutely love her videos her videos i go to for like an aesthetic vibe like if you want to watch like an autumn routine or something like that i feel like her videos are perfect for that so those are probably my 
favorite YouTubers at the minute, but I've probably missed a million off. What is your Starbucks order? So, I feel like I have different Starbucks orders depending on my mood. So, Starbucks order for autumn is always something with pumpkin. Like, pumpkin spice latte, love that one. I had my first one the other day. Pumpkin frappuccino, obsessed with that. So that's another one summer drink I either go for a vanilla ice latte or a caramel macchiato i don't know why i'm giving you literally the list of style drinks that i love but these are just my ultimate fave orders and i probably order them all equally as much and then a classic hot chocolate doesn't go amiss but i haven't actually had one of them literally in years from starbucks but i know they do like a brownie one around christmas which is literally always unreal to relocate the car because honestly that car parking at the ones were getting so busy and i know i really want to just not care and i really want to just be like who cares just vlog but it's literally so awkward you know and you're literally sat there with cars parked literally in the space next to you there was no need for it there was so many spaces free but i felt like the car next to me full of like young boys i was literally like no like I, i'm sorry i can't sit there so another one is are you excited for autumn and winter and i actually really am like even though i've been absolutely loving summer and i feel like summer is one of my favorite seasons i don't really feel like summer has been summer this year like i don't know if anyone else agrees but like i've been on holidays in the uk but we haven't had like great weather like it hasn't been really sunny i feel like the first like 2020 summer was better than this one even though we've been like free and able to go out and about because literally 2020 summer was so hot like i was sat in the garden all the time like i don't know i just don't feel like this summer has been like a proper summer i don't know if that sounds literally ridiculous but yeah i am really excited for autumn because like i said i'm just excited for like a change something fresh i'm excited for the autumn fashion as well because honestly i love autumn fashion i love like the coats and like cozy season i'm excited for like candles and like, movie nights so if you want to stick around for all the autumn vlogs and all the autumn baking and everything like that we're going to do then definitely stick around i feel like this week's weekly vlog really feels at the start of autumn like i've done some baking in it we've got like life updates in it we've got like cozy chats with drinks in it like honestly i just feel like autumn is here okay next question is what is your favorite thing about doing youtube and i just feel like everything like i i think i prefer youtube to like instagram and tiktok i feel like youtube is more of like a connection and you're actually chatting to people like i know we're not actually chatting right now but i feel like sitting down filming a chatty video is one of my favorite things because I feel like you can just ramble on and say what you want and I feel like it's just nice to have like that connection which is probably my favourite thing. I love sharing things like hauls as well because to be fair before I started YouTube I would literally just sit and like show all my friends what I got and like video them on Snapchat and stuff so ever since I've watched YouTube I've thought I'd love to do that and I just never started it so I feel like if you have those feelings just go for it because no matter what happens if you enjoy it like it's literally been a decision that's been worthwhile so i'm so happy i did it i also feel like it really has helped my confidence but yeah that's just a ramble on but my favorite thing about youtube is like the chatty videos having a connection and just sitting down having someone to talk to and something to do like i feel like it's the best hobby like it's so fun you can do so many things with it i really really enjoyed the ordering what the person in front of us ordered because i felt like that felt like, like an old school youtube video like i feel like when there's challenges and stuff i never really hop on board but i think i need to start doing that because i think those kind of videos are the ones that like you would watch on youtube back in the day and are actually really fun so that's probably my favorite thing okay so one of the questions is do you have any exciting plans coming up and i feel like starting uni is an exciting thing but i am actually meant to be going to see sophia and chintzia live which i'm so excited for I don't know if I'm going to be working on that day and I really hope I'm not. I need to figure out exactly when it is because one of the other girls has the tickets so I need to figure out. But I think that would be so good. Like literally we went to see them the first year they did like the girls bathroom in the live show. They had Montana there and it was literally unbelievable. Like if anyone else went to see that it was so sick. So yeah honestly that will be the best day if I can get to go. And we have booked tickets. It's been moved like three times so I don't know if like it's going to be moved again but i hope not yeah i'm meant to be going with my friend georgia from uni well from like not but yeah literally so excited for that last year we ended up going to the same club as them after as well which was so fun because i feel like i don't want to sound like a stalker but i feel like from all their videos we kind of knew where they'd be going and um chintzy was there sophia wasn't sophia went somewhere else but apparently she went to the club later so, so annoying we didn't stay but yeah i met chintzy like the first time we went and i just felt like it was a good time like girls bathroom live is even better than girls bathroom podcast so if you like that podcast then i would recommend because it was literally so good so there's been a couple about how did you start working with brands on instagram so this is literally the biggest thing i can say to you is consistency because i can't tell you enough how like i don't really think your follow account really matters 
I feel like it's about the quality of your content and also consistency because the more consistent you are the more chances you're getting for like brands to notice you like when I have a, when I had a much lower following but I was really consistent with Instagram and YouTube I literally worked with so many more brands like I worked with Boohoo, Glossy Box this is when I kind of started working with all these brands when I literally had like a thousand followers look fantastic lounge and wear like I really don't think it's follow count I think it's your content and I think it's consistency because I think the more you put out the more you get back which is 100% true with most things in life but it's also true with that Instagram and YouTube so I'm hopefully going to get back on it I think it's one of them things where like if you're not feeling it it comes across like I feel like if I was to post videos throughout that month where I wasn't feeling very well in summer the videos would have been boring and they wouldn't have had much like passion to them they wouldn't have been like very interesting to watch because you probably would have been able to tell so I feel like I'm back now I feel like I'm happy that I'm back and feeling so much better because I feel like now all my videos I'm just like excited to film I feel like I've got like a new lease of life so yeah that is probably what I would say I feel like I didn't really answer the question there but be consistent tag the brands in all your posts because if you don't tag them they won't see them I'm gonna end this video here anyway go finish my McDonald's inside because I'm literally roasting I feel like my face in this camera is getting redder and redder as we go along because it's literally boiling hot outside but I really really hope you enjoyed my first come drive with me hopefully next time there'll be a little bit more driving involved I will put some of the clips in but it was literally like rattling like, I think it's the tripod on the car which is making a crazy noise but anyway hopefully you enjoyed it let me know if you do want to see more come drive with me as I absolutely love filming it so I definitely want to do some more but yeah if you did enjoy definitely stick around and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one bye